Hey guys, it's Mr. Soderberg, your AEO world history teacher. Um, just want to go through a couple things this week. Welcome to week three of world history. Um, week three is a continuation of prehistory. I hit you with uh, a lot of reading last week, some article assignments. And so this week there will only be one assignment. However, you know, it's going to be it's going to take you a little time. So I guess that's how I can justify just having one assignment for you this week. All right. So if I go to my modules and I look at week three, prehistory, and remember this will unlock Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Week three is uh, it's a Google Slides presentation that's embedded right into Canvas. And uh, it's called Moving Out. And what we are looking at this week is um, human migration. Um, and when I mean human migration, I mean, you know, the first humans. They went, went on to populate the earth. So if we look at this, I just want to show you something here. You'll notice that my little uh, index finger icon that's moving, or moving around on the screen. I'm clicking. It's not going anywhere. So use the arrows to navigate through the presentation. So I want to move forward in the presentation. I'm going to click uh, this right pointing arrow. I'll give you my, it will give you your learning target for the, for the week. It's actually one of the state standards for world history. Uh, there's a short review of last week. Please take time to read that. And starting here, it's uh, looking at um, people leaving Africa for the first time. This is where your assignment begins. Um, so read through this information. There are a few embedded YouTube videos to watch as well. Uh, these are okay. They're, they're good. They're okay videos. There's a lot of good information there. Um, I think that they are made by, uh, who's the guy? Uh, it's someone in conjunction, conjunction with Khan Academy. So uh, they're decent videos. Uh, so watch those. And this is just a, a visual on the history of migration. And I guess that thing's going to start up without me telling it to. This is a, a tutorial right here that will show you how to create arrows and text messages. Nah, not text messages, text boxes. How to add text and arrows into Google Slides, because that is what you'll need to do this week. What I'm going to do is uh, give you an article to read from the Smithsonian that can be found by clicking here. After that, after you read through that and take notes, you'll have a map. On that map, I would like you to label these places. If I click the map, it will take me to another Google page. Make a copy of that page, put your name on it, share it with me. This is the map that you will be making changes to. The first changes that you'll make to the map are these places, these locations, continents, countries, oceans, seas, things like that. When you're done with that, I want you to map migration, human migration on that map. Start in East Africa and Ethiopia. My suggestion to you is one, keep it simple. Start in Africa. Where did people migrate to first? When did they do that? How many years ago? Where did they go next? When was that? How many years ago was that? Use all the resources that you have at your disposal. Use the reading and the notes that you take, the videos, 
Look for other maps online. There's a ton of human migration maps out there. I would also like you to go the extra mile and give me some interesting information, at least five pieces of interesting information that you found out about early human migration. Maybe it will be who were the first people to start fires or to control fire or build fire. So we talked about that last week. That information's out there. It was someone in Africa, but it wasn't in Eastern Africa. Um, the example I give you here is that 60 species became extinct 45 to 50,000 years ago in Australia as a result of massive fires that were likely set by early humans. Um, so I'm sure it's not a case of ancients behaving badly, but that's too bad that that happened. I got that information, you'll see here, from um, a website called the Genographic Project, and it's a National Geographic website. Um, it's pretty decent. And I created this citation, Migration to Australia, on easybib.com. So if you give me five tidbits of information, uh, tell me where you got that information from. And do it using EasyBib. There's a link for it on, on the page here. So good luck with that. Uh, I hope that it goes smoothly. For any reason, if you come across issues or problems, or if you have questions, get a hold of me, email me, um, stop by the school. We're here all day except Fridays. All right, so have a great week. And I look forward to uh, you blowing me away with some awesome uh, human migration maps as well as uh, interesting tidbits to go along with it. Take care.